visit the Nixon October, so let's get right into it. For price, you can find this exact model online for prices as low as $45. For dimensions, this is a slightly larger than your average watch. Across the dial, or main case really, we're looking at 48 millimeters, and with the crown included, you're looking at 52 and a half millimeters, and then a overall case depth right at around 13.8, so just under 14 millimeters. Me, I'm used to wearing Invicta watches, so it's not that large. But for those of you who have the more reasonably sized watches, this is going to kind of take you by surprise. It is also quite hefty at 150 grams or 5 and 1 8 ounces. So really not too bad, but it, like I said again, it's going to surprise you if you're not used to this kind of watch. Here it is on the wrist. It really does kind of look like a, a full-size clock sitting on your wrist. I absolutely love that. Some of you might think it looks a little ridiculous, but you know, for the size and for what it is, I think it wears very well. And just for a quick size comparison, here is the October sitting next to the Citizen Ecozilla. Very similar as far as case diameter goes. Um, as far as depth, the Ecozilla wins, but um, very similar. And then here is a Seiko Tuna, and also very similar. I think the Tuna is slightly smaller, but just comparing. And I almost forgot to do a 360, but the 360 view here is really what makes this watch super cool. So on the main dial, you've got a regular analog watch, nothing special here. There's the crown, you know, pretty cool crown, but on the case back, you've got this awesome um, engraved submarine. So it's sitting on the surface of the water and it says Battle Stations, the October. And I think it's obvious that this is a tribute to the famous Sean Connery movie, Hunt for Red October. Um, you know, it's a really great movie and it's a really cool looking watch, but I did not know that this case back looked like this when I first bought the watch. And that was a very pleasant surprise. And really, at the price that you can find these watches going for these days, I mean, just for the design alone, I think it's worth it. For functions and features, there's really not much to go over here. What we've got is a very simple and robust watch. So for the internals, we've got a Swiss quartz movement. I don't know exactly which one, but in my experience, they're very reliable and they last for about three to six years. Um, before you have to swap out the battery. For me personally, I've owned my Nixon for just over a year and a half and it's still moving along just fine. For crystal, we've got just a regular mineral crystal here. You know, I would have preferred sapphire, of course, but at this price range, I'm not complaining. It is domed just slightly, so it gives it that depth and I've always been a fan of domed crystals and I very much like how they did it with this watch. You do have a screw down crown and it's very pleasant to operate. It's very tight and easy to screw back in. And along with that screw down crown, you also have 300 meters of water resistance. So true to its name, it's gonna do just fine submerged underwater. For the case, we've got a steel case all around, which a tribute to the overall heft and just overall solid feel of the watch. This thing truly is just a hockey puck sitting on your wrist. Now let's go ahead and check out that loom. What you're seeing here on the screen is right after I blasted the dial with a very large and powerful flashlight. So it's not really what you're going to see in real life. I just wanted to show you where the loom is applied. You know, even if you did do what I did and blast it with some light, it's gonna last you about 15, 30 minutes. So it's not a wash designed to be used in the dark at all, which is a shame considering it's called the October and any watch associated with a submarine should really be um, very useful in the dark. Now you notice that I paired this watch with a OD green NATO band and that's just because I prefer NATO bands. 
what this originally comes with is it's kind of like a resin or rubber silicone type material it's really good quality let's zoom in here for you so you can see this is a robust and very sturdy band um, it's just not for me I don't like how it feels on my skin. It's very sticky. There's going to be a high sweat factor, especially for those of you who just sweat a lot. Um, but you can tell that the buckle and clasp are of fantastic quality. And really, it just looks clean. You know, look at that. It's just a really good looking band. So, you know, don't, don't knock it. Well, I'm not going to knock it just because I don't like how it feels. It's still great quality. Now just going over my personal thoughts, first and foremost, I think this is a fantastic watch, especially at the price range. A year and a half ago, I spent around $50 to $60 after taxes, and I was not expecting anything at that price range. But, you know, lo and behold, it, it arrived and it's fantastic. I mean, not even for it being cheap. Even if it were $100 or $200 more expensive, like the overall fit and finish and quality is just fantastic. I think there's only two things here that you could really knock on this watch and one of those things is purely subjective, which is the size. Yeah, it's a large watch, but for those of you that are new to this channel, uh, I'll let you know that I'm a huge fan of large watches and I know that there's a big market out there for those of you that do like the larger watch. So if that's the case, then this is definitely the watch for you. For those of you that don't like a larger watch, you know, you know that's fine, go on and find a smaller version or a smaller style. But, uh, you know, for those of you that like the big watch, this is really, I highly recommend it. Uh, the other thing that someone could knock on it is the loom. The loom is really subpar. Um, it's actually horrendous. So I don't rely on this for loom at all whatsoever. But that's not why I got the watch. And, you know, there's plenty of other ways to tell time in the dark. As far as just for overall quality of the build and the style, I, I think it's just fantastic. Aesthetically, I think it's super cool. You know, it's got that style of a scout watch or a field watch. And, you know, it's definitely, I could say, even a nautical watch for those of you who just need something simple and not complicated when you're out to sea and you just need something that'll tell you the time of day. And to that end, you know, this really does its job quite well. There's just something so satisfying and beautiful about a simple watch and the October does that just great. And so that's really all I got to say for now. For those of you who are not familiar with Nixons, you know, I wouldn't blame you if you confuse them for a fashion brand or a fashion watch, but I got to tell you, I have yet to have had a negative experience with any of their watches. They've always been very solid and very reliable. So I definitely recommend the October and you're gonna find varying price ranges, you know, but for this model, it's still on the market for around $45. So if you've got some extra cash just laying around, I say go ahead and get one before they run out. So that's all I gotta say. I hope that I can help you with your next watch purchase and that you enjoyed the video. And um, I'll catch you guys later. All right, bye.